What's up everybody? Are we live? Is everything cool? We've already had it drop once, so we're just checking. Making sure, making sure, everything good? So far. So far, so good, okay. Well, if it drops, I do apologize. Uh, we seem to have like an awful reception. Thanks, Cox, really appreciate that. Um, so I'm joined here with my good friend, Cowboy. He's lying on the floor and uh, most disinterested in what I'm talking about. Um, so I believe it was last Thursday we talked about um, how to choose a handboard for your ability. So depending on where you, you fit yourself in, if you were honest with yourself, if you were like really good all the way down to uh, not so good or you're a beginner, uh, we kind of just went over the boards that you wanted to choose for that particular scenario depending on who you were. Um, quick tip for that, definitely don't lie to yourself, um, it's a way to get yourself into some trouble when you're out there, the, way, the, uh, uh, the ocean does not care if you're good or not good, it um, can hurt if you have gone out in conditions that um, probably don't suit, so definitely just be very truthful with yourself if you're not that good, don't go out in the big stuff. If you're good, just take care for in pretty much everything and, and don't think you know everything. So um, moving on to that um, or from that. So today we're going to discuss um, basically which board to choose for what kind of wave. OK, um, and so that's the way we, we've kind of gone about it is um, we know that somebody who's probably um, not quite used to the water is going to look at it as in like, oh, I'm not really good. Which board do I get? Do I get? And this is more addressed to people who have um, been out and, and have a bit of experience because really what, what they're looking for is a board that would suit the kind of wave that they like to, that they, that they like to, uh, to, to surf. Um, so, as far as the waves are concerned, generally we go from how big a wave is, when we're talking about waves, and this is the way we look at it, is um, there is uh, the different kind of waves, which is essentially um, from small waves all the way up to big waves, and then we get point break, uh, we get beach break, and we also get shore break. Um, and if I've forgotten anything, do excuse me, but I'll probably go over it. So. Uh, let's start at the most, I think we'll take it, we'll, we'll switch it up a bit. We'll go from uh, the most sort of intense kind of wave um, all the way down to the kind of the other wave. So if you're listening to this and you feel like you got a bit of experience and you want to really take it up a notch, this is the board for you. The, um, the Bula, which was designed specifically actually for point panic. So if anybody, if any of you guys are actually um uh, aware of or, or know of point panics it's i i surfed it it's kind of almost like um it, it's a reef break but it's almost like a point break the way that it breaks because it kind of breaks down but um it's it's basically a, a a reef break and so um what the uh what the booler is designed specifically for and what i find it really works well in is basically that really steep fast wave so you're talking uh, kind of waves that you get at like Point Panics, um, also Sandy's is another great example. So really steep, fast, fast shore break. So I find this for me one of the best sessions I've ever had on a handboard has been with this board at Salt Creek here in California, and it was just piling over. Awesome. Uh, nobody was you know able to get in or actually stick on the wave. And what this board does because of that concave, if you can see it, I mean there is no board made with a concave like this and this is all due to a um, young man by the name of Sean Anoka and um, he spent the good better part of his childhood I do believe um, shaping this over a uh, over of all things a main ace jar so he used to shape his over a main ace jar and that's where that comes from because what they were trying to do what Sean was trying to do was to get a board that was not only light and um, exceptionally quick and good to duck under when you're in critical positions so you don't have a lot of board with you because basically the wave's doing all the work for you when you're on that steep and fast shore break 
uh, a really steep, fast um, reef break and reefs can like, it's my, one of my favorite breaks is a reef break. I love it because they just suck up really quickly. You haven't got time for mistakes. And basically what you need to do is you need to stay at the top of that wave so that you can get the, um, the speed all the way down to the bottom. So this is what this board is designed for. You see that concave, dig it in. It's basically like a, a, a um, it's basically like a fin, like a like a almost like a FCS fin or, or whatever fin on your surfboard. And that's basically what that does is it just digs into the into the side of the wave and it keeps your whole body. I've seen some amazing footage of guys almost slipping down until this catches and this just brings you right back down and you've got all this control to take it and get out of the pocket and get out into uh, generally in, out into safety or straight into a one-pin one closeout, whatever you prefer. So as as a as as somebody who you know wants to take this stuff to a new level if you're really looking for that really cool a womp wave which is what a lot of the guys call it here womp uh um you know just a sand duster basically you end up landing on the sand um please don't do that if you're new to this because uh, the chances even if you are, are actually very um good is that you end up hurting yourself on the sand because sand does not move your neck does so you want to be really careful when you when you go into stuff like that um, be very aware that how deep it is and and definitely just watch yourself but this board this board will get you out of trouble um, and it keeps you really nice and, and up there um, so that's the Bula, and that is um, essentially our specialist board, and it's great for sh you know really fast critical waves. This here is the fish. So we're going down. So this is um, basically to from intermediate to advanced. Um, I would say the Bula is definitely an advanced board simply because you're going to be using it in in shore break. Um, but again, you know, you, with any of these boards, you, this is what these are designed for. You can still use them in, um, in, in other stuff. Um, but this is, I'm just talking about exactly what these, what we kind of had in mind when we were designing these. So the fish, okay, this is a classic. It's basically, if anybody knows their stand-up surfboards, this is essentially a fish surfboard from, I believe, like, 70s, 60s, between 60s and 70s, I believe, is when it came out. And the fish is essentially that shape. Now, what we've done is basically take it down and shrunk it to a point where it's obviously a manageable handboard. And this is fast. This is the kind of, this board, it's, it was something that even when I first, when we first designed it and the shape came out, um, I wasn't too sure about whether it was going to work until I finally just dialed it in on a really nice wave. And now the wave that this thing does really great on are the biggest stuff. Um, I've actually been, I've actually had a couple in and out barrels because this thing is so quick. So not as steep as the Bula, you don't need to because obviously you don't have that um, that sort of concave. So you're going to end up slipping down if you get on some really steep stuff. So what you kind of in between the steep and 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 kind of kind of the rubbish. So what that does is you just keep a line like that. You put it out in front of you, left or right. Okay, you just keep it out in front of you. This is a really good lazy arm kind of lead, lead arm kind of um, board because this basically you just set this line and this board will just take you in that direction straight. So uh, this board is definitely great for um, that kind of that it's big, it's it's even barreling, but it's not quite shore break and it's not quite that very critical. So that's what this is great for. Here we move on to the wedge. So if you're looking for a board, this honestly is kind of my, on any given day, I would take this to the beach just simply because if I don't know what it's like, it's our kind of 90% solution. Um, so when I say the 90% solution, I'm talking about waves that you get pretty much in between those great swells. So you know, when you I took this out at Marie, this was, this was, this board, 
just performed so well at Marie, up at Zuma in, in uh, kind of Malibu, North Malibu area. It was just pumping through. It was that just, it wasn't quite shore break, but it was just perfect all the way down and it kind of rolling, almost uh, kind of reef breaky for, for, for the fish. Um, but for the wedge, I like to just take this out on any other given day because generally what we get is 90% of the time, it's really not that great, let's be honest. Unless you're you know, uh, born in Indonesia or Hawaii where you, know, you get better more than you get bad. For the rest of us, we have to deal with the fact that it's pretty much blown out half the time. And so this board will allow you because of this extra width, okay, basically the way that I, I designed it was I had a smaller board. Um, this was way back in the day. I had a smaller board. I, went, I was like, I just kept on sinking every time I kind of got, so I wasn't getting like long rides because what was happening was I was putting my weight on it when it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that, that great. And I was just, I was basically having to bail out on a, on a wave and I still had plenty of, you know, plenty of uh, room to go. And so um, I kind of lengthened it, lengthened it, lengthened it a little bit more. And what, what ended up happening, I got to this length and it was just perfect. I could literally ride anything that was coming through on any given day. And so with that extra width, what I like to say is if, if anybody's, you know, uh, you know, listening knows about um, surfboards, longboards and shortboards, this is kind of a longboard. You can get in on pretty much everything. So as far as waves is concerned, seeing as that's what we're talking about, um, this is kind of like 90% of everything else. Um, you don't want to drop in on shore break on this. Uh, I mean, you can, but I've slipped out on it. I definitely go to the beach and get my bula. Um, and then when I want that extra speed, I'm looking for the, for the fish. Um, but this on any other given day, perfect. Also, if you're a bigger guy too as well because of the extra size. So here we move on to um, pretty much what we like to call our starter board. Um, so the starter board, this is foam, okay? And for waves, this again is very similar to the, it was, it, it very much had the same idea, um, it, it, you know, for the, uh, for the beginner. Um, that's why we designed this. It's, it's got a lot, like the curves, all of the curves, all of the tail, everything was, the, the whole idea was that it didn't look too um, aggressive to a beginner wanting to get into the sport. But on the same time, we wanted, you can see just at the back is um, concave, almost two thirds of the, the way. It's got a little bit of a, uh, um, a, a rocker coming out there. Um, so it's definitely performed very, very well. So don't be scared if you've actually, um, you know, you've, you don't have the money to, to kind of fork out on one of those. This is definitely a great option for you because you can pretty much ride anything. Again, this is almost like a 90% solution. Also, the other great thing about this, other than the price, which is why we bought it out, we're an inclusive brand. We want to be able to get other you know people out there and enjoying um, the ocean. And of course, not everybody can afford $169 um, uh, you know, hand, hand board. So, you know, this is why we came up with this. The other, uh, the other reason this is such a great beginner board is it doesn't hurt, okay? Um, these are more sort of performance driven boards. These really were um, a, an, an answer for basically everybody else other than the people who are really kind of almost serious into it. And so this board is, um, again, made out of foam and can ride on pretty much everything. So, you know, definitely um, there you have it. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I do have a tendency to do that, but um, I love doing this and I love what we do. So hopefully you guys can, uh, can if, you, if, you, if you gauge yourself on whether, on what kind of wave you like to ride, then hopefully this will help you um, from sort of steep, uh, kind of mid to steep then your 90% solution and again something else that will ride pretty much everything else um, but if you guys have any questions if you feel like I didn't cover you know maybe uh, you surf a reef break or you surf a point break um, which board would be would be best for you um, 
I should I'll answer that right now. Uh, if it's a if it's a very fast breaking wave, I would go for the um, for the fish. If it's a very steep wave, I'd go for the bula. Um, if it's kind of a slow breaking um, uh, wave, I would I would definitely go for the for the um, for the either the wedge or um, or the grom. Again, this is also great for just whomping around and having a good time because you know you can throw it and what have you. So. That's pretty much it. I'm starting to lose my voice, but um, I hope you guys got some um, some good points out of that. And hopefully uh, catch us on the flip side where we'll be talking about, uh, I believe, spray painting your handboard. Um, but that is yet to be decided, I'm pretty sure, right, Michelle? You like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we got asked a question about whether you want, whether you can spray paint your board. So um, I will definitely go over that in a, in a quick one. Um, but other than that, enjoy your day and uh, peace out.